everyone, I'm Flutters, the Fun Fact Monarch Butterfly. Today, we're going to take you on an exciting adventure through the migration and life cycle of monarch butterflies. Follow me everyone! Guess what kids? It is time for our long journey. During the fall, monarchs from Canada make their way south and southwest. Most of the eastern population heads to Mexico, but some make their way to Florida. When spring comes, they all head north to begin the cycle again. Did you know that the monarchs who migrate south in the fall are not the same to return in the spring? They are their great-great-great-grandchildren. Even though the great-great-great-grandchildren have never visited their home in Mexico, their instincts tell them what direction to travel. How is that possible? Don't they overwinter in the OML forest? Well, scientists are still trying to prove the theory that monarchs have an internal clock and compass. This internal mechanism allows them to travel 50 to 100 miles each day at speeds of up to 10, maybe even 30 miles per hour. So we call these the Chigger Islands, and we're right on the Monarch Flyway here on the Llano River uh, between Mason and Junction in uh, Mason and Kimball County. Right along these banks, this is where the swamp milkweed usually is. Let's see what we got here. Ah, what do you know? Look at that. There's an egg on there. See it? Right on top. That's, that's not usually where they put them. Here we go. Lots of evidence of caterpillars with those little holes. You see those little chew marks? That means there's been some caterpillars here. Oh, what do you know? A little man right there. Cool. Oh, there they are. So I might have to take these guys home, make sure they make it to the chrysalis stage. You guys are going to like Austin. One caterpillar will eat up to 18 milkweed leaves throughout its entire lifetime. The milkweed seems insufficient for pupating, so the caterpillar searches for something better. Today is September 21st, and you can see the movement. That's not the wind, that's this caterpillar. Now you can see our chrysalis. We should see it probably hatch tomorrow morning. October 16, 2010, our new monarch was just hatched. You can see that it is moving freely like it should be. I think the body is huge. See the fork-like tongue? It's called a proboscis. When the monarch first hatches, it rolls and unrolls the two sections into one, kind of like a zipper. Once the proboscis is whole, the butterfly uses it like a straw to feed and drink. We try to store as much fat as possible for our long fall trip. Hey Terry! What's up, Flutters? Did you know that monarch butterflies have brush feet? Really? What's that? We have bristles on our feet that help us in a number of ways. We use them to taste, smell, and hold on to <laughs> objects. How do you like my new barrette? <laughs> I can feel every bristle on those brush feet. These two females are showing their desperation to begin their journey south. Unfortunately, it wasn't warm enough for flight, so they spent the night indoors protected from predators. 
Finally, a warm day approaches and it is time for them to pick up where their ancestors left off.